Found, you know, I'm a restaurant kid. I come from a restaurant family. Mm -hmm. So my parents owned a restaurant since 1974. They sold it in 2006. So I grew up working very hard, busting tables, cutting potatoes, filling butter dishes, running food. My whole yes. Life. All right. Okay. So I found this list about ways that servers, restaurant owners have compiled to make us our experience a little bit better. Okay. okay and I these are things that. that they don't really like. Right, that we do, that yes. we as patrons sometimes we do. Well, they're here to say, right, check this, you know. Yes, let's do this. Please try and abide by these things. There are 58% of us eat out at least one time a week. I believe it. I do too. I would yeah. think it would almost be higher. Well, also I think it's a, a sign of the times. I feel like when things were in the recession days, mm -hmm. maybe we weren't going out as much. Now things are better, economy's better. Right. We're celebrating. Sure. I mean, yeah. Like, and these life. are like sit down restaurants, okay. not fast food. Okay. I'm, I'm all ears. The, the percentage you know, might be up even higher. You know, I, the case. I waited tables at the original yes. Outback Steakhouse, Steakhouse from the Land Down Under, it's, located in Tampa. It's on one of my Simple favorite Island. fun facts about you. And I had the denim mm -hmm. dungarees to my knees. Yes. And a shirt with a lot of pockets. It was very it. warm and itchy. Oh, I used to love that Alice Springs chicken with oh, the blue Oh, God, onion. that was one of my favorites. Yes. I did gain some weight. I was just going to say, college. I think I just did. by saying that. Okay. It was good, yeah. Yeah, I worth was, it. I can't believe it. Worth it. I love mm -hmm. the Alice Springs chicken, too. That's so funny. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so they want us to know that they really cannot see our incomplete party, and right. here's why, okay? If you show up early and the rest of your guests show up late, the turnaround table, the turnaround time for the table could be twice as long. Exactly. So I know that, yes. So get people on time there and don't, you know, if you can't all sit at the same time, right. don't be you upset guys, about it. They're trying to turn the tables, you right. know? I mean, they mm -hmm. want you to have a nice experience, but let's not drag it sure. out for 30 extra minutes. Yeah, they don't want you lollygagging around, ordering drinks. Yeah, Michelle, Michelle still doesn't does, Michelle get Michelle doesn't it. get it. Okay, Michelle, we'll if you arrive at 7 p.m. for your reservation, but your friends don't arrive till 7.30, they can't serve you until everybody orders, which would probably be around 7.45-ish. No, Michelle, we don't yeah. want you to get a drink at the right. empty table. Get a drink at the bar and, yes. then, and then sit when your party's complete. Yes. Michelle, you're asking too many questions. <laughs> what if they don't have a bar, she wanted to know. Well, inquire within. Okay, all right. Bussing your dishes doesn't help is the second thing because... They're actually trained on how to stack the dishes on the table in most places. So if there is some china that should be put accordingly, accordingly. then you shouldn't do that because it really doesn't help them. Now, I always do that. I always am like making Scooting. piles yeah. and stacking dishes. So I didn't know that. So I guess you I'll know change what? my I used, ways. I used to be that way, but then I thought it really doesn't look good sure. for you to do that. Like... I don't know. Right. It just seems like we're not at home. I'm like, I need to calm down. Yes. I want to try and keep my area neat, and I always pick up after the kids if they've made a mess. Right. But stacking everything, Yeah, that's I'm probably like, not a good look. It's probably not a good mm -hmm. look. Like, Because what if it takes 20 minutes for them to clear it out? You're sitting with a bunch of stacked yucky <laughs> right. food. Right. Just kind of be neat. Yeah. Johnny's looking at me in a weird way. Or were you just fine. daydreaming about the end of the show? I knew. Yeah. I knew. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, don't bust, don't bust don't the Don't bust your own table. All right, yeah, I'll try to I be better you. about that. I agree. Okay, tip more when ordering booze. Now, I didn't know that this was a thing that people will subtract their alcohol from the final bill and only tip on their food? You guys, that people do that. And can I tell you, I know what you think. I, there's a $90 bottle of wine in there. I'm not going to tip on that. Here's what you don't know. In most restaurants, the server has to tip out 3% to the busboy, the bartender, and the hostess yes. of their total sales. So for everyone who is not tipping them appropriately, that is going into their pocket. Yeah. Seriously. Now, as a child of a person who owned a small business, I think we should pay our servers minimum wage and they should make tips on top of that. I think it's ridiculous that they, that, think of it as an, is there any other profession where the person's attitude towards you dictates whether you can pay your bills? No. No. no there's no. not really. I mean, besides Wait. the service-oriented industry. Hold on. Wait, waiters and waitresses still don't get many of them paid minimum no, wage. No. No. Because I know that was how it was eons yeah. ago for me. No, but, they still depend. And on our tips for most of their for most of their salary. Trent, can you Google that? It's true. Trent, it's can true. you Google that? It's true. Trent. I I think the in California in California they get minimum wage.
love those. But Thank it was you. Coming Sorry. Up. California, um, they get minimum wage, and I think most states you make it's like two fifteen to like three seventy five an hour, and then you depend on tips oh, on top of that. Yeah, my hour. I don't mm -hmm. even remember, but my my little checks were nothing. Yeah, it was more. I really depended on those on your tips, and you're right. like, please, please, please. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So okay, don't sorry, nickel and dime our servers. Hear all of these. Please, 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 please. Okay. Okay. Um, and then of course your waiter doesn't control how quickly your meal is served. Okay. Right. It depends on a lot of. And there was another one that was listed that said, um, you know, if there's an empty table, it doesn't mean you should be seated right away and we always ran into this a lot because sometimes you could be understaffed and they won't seat you if you, they don't have a server, server for, that area. for that table so they don't want yes. you to sit there and wait and then be upset about you waiting. open up a restaurant Let's together? That Let's would be so much it. fun. Yes. We've Let's got a lot it. of experience. We do. Let's you do it. You more than me. I can make really good ribs. <gasps> We'll call mm -hmm. it C&C's place. Let's do it. Oh C&C Music Factory. Okay. Oh my don't God. ask your server to bring you the strongest drink. Who does that? <laughs> somebody Liz just said Trent does it all the time. Somebody actually <laughs> says, bring me the strongest drink? I mean, I, ooh, I've never done that, I don't think. No. No, I've Maybe. never done, I, I enjoy a strong drink every now and then. There was but. A, <laughs> right. Right. They said that please don't do that because they can't ask the bartender to make your drink extra, extra strong and it's annoying. There was another one that made me laugh too that said, don't ask us to play DJ. Like I was like, is this a thing where people say they will oh. hand them their iPhones at the restaurant and say, can you please put on my playlist? Yeah, this that's a new phenomenon, Karen. Huh? Of the of yes. They don't have time to do that. No. All yes. right, we're gonna put the rest up on the Or let's do it. This was a good one. You like it? I 